if you follow the news at all in about the last 10 years, you know that the United States is falling behind in education, mostly to Asian nations. And wow, this is scaring a lot of people. In fact, especially those politicians. At almost every level of government, from state all the way to federal, they're focusing on fixing this problem. Our American children have to win this race. And I worry that they even really understand what's going on. Because if you start in the education system, you gotta start with the kids. And see, what's cool about the kids is every single one of them are born unique. They have their own way of looking at things. They have their own way of understanding the world around them, learning, and they have their own imagination in, that they can apply to this world. And so when the industrial education system was invented, it was meant to kind of try and put us all on this somewhat level playing field, right? And, you know, we all need to know how to read and, and do basic math and write. But the problem is, is as the industrial economy went into the information economy, we needed college. And we're suddenly losing more and more of that uniqueness as we try and become more and more the same with each other. And it's more important what piece of paper you have and what grade you got than who you were in the beginning. If you look at the education system as maybe like a pyramid, the base is widest at the bottom where everybody starts in elementary school. But then as you go up, there's less and less people in that system because we start kicking these kids out when they you know, don't do well taking tests or they're too hyper for class. Unfortunately, the higher you get, especially once you get to those professional levels, you also have more influence. Well, if we're trying to win this race, we should be fixing the problem for those kids who are getting kicked out. But look who's writing all the rules. The people who made it to the top, the people who have those professional degrees. 55% of the Senate is lawyers. Only one do not have a college education. That worries me. They've come up with this term, STEM education, S-T-E-M, science, technology, engineering, mathematics. And like any great buzzword, it's being thrown around by people who don't know what they're talking about to act like they know what they're talking about. And it's terrible. And here's what you're getting. You're getting nations that are using this, like Asia, like a lot of these Asian nations, who are focusing on STEM education, but there's no creativity. They can't come, even come up with their own brand for a gas station, and they're known for piracy and copying Western innovation. Innovation, there's the word. America's number 17 in innovation. But what are we doing? We're making awesome stuff designed by an American company in the United States of America. That's what I think makes Creativity is so important in our education system, and that's what we're losing. I would rather win. I would rather win the race by having the best economy than having the best educated kids. Wouldn't you? So, the wisdom of the tortoise and hare uh, fable apply here. So it's so bad that that phrase, that STEM phrase has gotten around that now schools are advertising to parents about it. I hope this school teaches kids how to read too, because if they're just focusing on those STEM things, that's not getting us anywhere. The good thing is, or I'm sorry, the bad thing is, is that these government agencies, they're making it harder and harder for kids to graduate with more science and math and important things like home ec, shop, driver's education, they're falling out of schools. These classrooms are empty and shut down. We need to educate the whole child. That is getting them creative and thinking while also learning the science and engineering stuff, like what FIRST Robotics and FIRST LEGO League does. And if we focus on teaching this whole child, we're gonna encourage them to be creative. We're gonna encourage them to do the things that invent iPhones instead of copying 7-Eleven. So, if you care about this, and I think I have an audience that does, it can start at home with your own kids. If you have time, unschool, homeschool your kids. If you don't have time to go that far, just take time with them. Encourage exploration. Encourage them to play. If they like playing video games, that's a good thing. Encourage them to invent their own video games, and I bet you they'll figure it out. If you can't do it at home, do it in the community. Organizations like Gameplank Junior and Chandler and Avondale are awesome. Also, after school programs and your community education can actually be funded by your Arizona tax credit. And finally, if you hear me and you say, hey, yeah, I agree with you, get educated and speak out. Use every resource possible, including PTOs and school board meetings. I really honestly see a future where America does win the race, but not by having the most educated kids, but by having the best economy because we've challenged our children to be innovative and creative. And I say that innovation stems from creativity and we have to make sure that we're enabling that wherever possible.